hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're doing great it's 9th of june 2024 sunday how is your sunday going today did you go to church today if you didn't because of maybe work or another thing i hope you created time for god i know you will do so okay i trust you okay my darling it's time for our word for today and except from ucb island and our topic today is how to have peace part two we did part one yesterday. I hope you were able to go through that. All right. And our Bible reading is taken from the book of John chapter 14, verse 27. And I read it from my Bible. It says, verse 27, peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. Give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus said his peace is a gift. That means you don't have to work for it and you cannot earn it. You cannot psych yourself for it and you cannot try really hard to obtain it. No, it's a gift you must accept by faith. Jesus also said that his peace is unique from what the world provides. In the last 3,500 years, the world has only been free of war for 286 of them. That's less than 9%. This world's peace doesn't last. Jesus told his disciples, I give you my own peace and my gift is nothing like the peace of the world. You must not be distressed and you must not be daunted. He spoke those words just before he went to the cross. So, God's peace is not regulated by circumstance, it's an inside job. Have you ever heard someone say, I need to get away? This is sometimes known as geographical cure. You think if you live where you are and go somewhere else, you will have peace. But it doesn't work. For wherever you go, you take yourself with you. Have you ever been so tired that your body collapsed into bed, but your mind wouldn't turn off? Well, you can get away and find peace. How? Jesus gives us the solution. You may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. John 16 verse 33. Where can you find peace? Jesus said, in me today spend time with him praise the lord hallelujah wow how to have peace part two wow guys jesus peace is a gift so if you have a peace from jesus that means you have a precious gift okay this is a gift you also must accept by faith the world peace does not last that is what we are told here okay but what happens to god's peace god's peace is not regulated by the circumstances but only by inside job so you have to actually do a job you know do the right thing and what you have to do you have to create time for god for you to have that peace of god in you so in jesus you can find peace only so how can you do that by spending time with him creating time with God okay have some quality times with him with your creator you know that when you want something for example from your father you have to ask and pray oh I hope by the time I get to my father I'm gonna get this thing and probably once once you do that you think positive and you're gonna get that so you know have have time with God and God will give you the everlasting peace may God continue to give us that everlasting peace but most importantly may we have time God in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that is it for today for us, my darling. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Island and we're reading the Bible for the whole year. Can we refer back to my previous videos? Just down the description, I'm going to say the chapters we've read, okay? But for today, we are reading Luke chapter 10 from verse 25 to 42. And Psalms chapter 60, chapter 61, and 62. Thank you again for listening. You know I love you, but God loves you most. And don't forget how to have peace. You must create time for God, for you to have that everlasting peace. May we create time really for God and not be 
you know, overtaken by the things of the world for not having time for God. May it not be so in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you for watching and God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.